Los Angeles, the city of dreams. Or is it? There are 45 brutal gangs in LA and 46,000 homeless people. I'm going to be going to three different hoods in LA to learn more about the famous gang culture. Finishing in the most dangerous place I've ever been. A place where you need multiple security if you want to see the light of day again. Skid Row. We're starting off the journey in the birthplace of gangster rap, Compton. Rising unemployment led to the increased crime rates and the emergence of the Crips and the Bloods gangs. By the 90s, Compton was experiencing 91 murders per 100,000 residents. Now, I'm not going to be one one of those YouTubers who pretends I'm hard as nails and say I'm gonna go in solo. I'm a YouTuber, not a gang member. I love the smell of freedom in the morning. Welcome to Beverly Hills, California. We're not staying here for long. I just wanted to show you guys this neighborhood is one of the most affluent uh, neighborhoods in all of America. And also it shows the income inequality. We're gonna be going all the way from the rich side of LA, just a few miles away to the hood. This place feels like a utopia. Doesn't feel like real life. We've got cyber trucks, Range Rovers, Lamborghinis, and mansions. Will, do you want to come to the hood with me? I'm all good, eh? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, all right. Will's going to make a YouTube video in Beverly Hills. If you want to watch it, go and check his YouTube video out. I'm going into the hood. He's staying in Beverly Hills. To get from Beverly Hills to Compton, we had to take the lovely Los Angeles Metro. I was only able to take this Metro because I had data on my phone, and that is thanks to the Holofly Eason. We got to Compton and I met my local contact from the area, Mooney. Mooney is a little bit of a local legend around these areas. He's been to prison and now he's trying to give back to the community, and he offered to show me around. Back in the 80s, when you knew were more active, was there... Obviously, you don't need to talk about specifics, but was there, was it, was it like a regular to, to hear about people dying? Yeah. Did you have friends who died? No question. You didn't really think people too much about dying it. Dying all the time. Like daily. Daily. Daily deaths. Wow. This was like like this park right here. You can see 150 to 200 guys in this park every day. Wow. You don't see anything anymore, do you? No. Guys, a constant pain I face whilst traveling the world is having to use physical SIM cards, having to hunt for Wi-Fi, and of course those roaming fees. So I got the Holofly eSIM. Holofly's eSIM basically gives you data wherever you go. It's available in 190 countries. Basically makes your life so much easier. If you want to book a taxi, if you want to book a hotel, use Google Maps, you always have data. They also have 24 seven support team, so you can solve any problems that you might encounter. Holofly eSIM actually also supports multiple devices. So whether you're traveling solo or in a group or with your family, you can share the data. So guys, if you want to get 5% off a eSIM with Holofly, then check out the link in the description or the pinned comment. Let's get on with the video. I'm shocked, to be honest. This is Compton. We're, we're deep in Compton and it's fine. There's like a couple of kids. I don't know what the kids are doing. Like, there's people around, but there's no, doesn't seem to be any trouble. Although, shouldn't uh, shouldn't push my luck. But you can see here, like, loads of art installations and uh, lots of. Uh, this is also where the Serena Williams grew up. Hi, sir. How you doing? You got like a like a park here, basketball. Hi, sir. How you doing? You good? I'm good. I'm from UK. UK? You're from Compton? Yeah, I'm from Compton. What's man. your name, brother? Come on, man. Crip, man. <laughs> oh, you're My a crip. Gangster, man. Oh yeah, nice to meet you. I yeah. got this cap. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> how's how's life in Compton now? Man, life is beautiful. I don't live here no more, but oh, okay. uh, I I teach a class here. I got some uh, I teach a life skills class here nice. with the kids. So you you're giving the kids opportunities. Oh yeah, that yeah, you, yeah. You... come on, I'm gonna show you my Oh class. thank you. Oh yeah. And I got a uh, youth basketball league for the summer. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, boo? All right, we're going in. Yeah, oh, nice. Are they, uh, I'm is... teaching them how to fill out job applications right now. Oh, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> we're going back to high school. What I do, I do Hi, guys, how you doing? How's school? <laughs> how old are you guys? 14. 14, nice. You, are you all from Compton? Yeah, we are from Compton. How's life in Compton? It's good. It's good? It's yeah. safe? Yeah. 
course. You guys are working hard getting the opportunities. Oh, you're filling out an employment test? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yeah, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. I'll leave you to it. Study hard. Keep, keep studying. Oh, Don't do drugs. <laughs> Might have to get involved. You got a bit of basketball? They all look tall, way too tall for me. So, uh, do you get paid for this, or are you doing this for free? Or? No, I do it uh, through my non-profit. Non-profit? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing to see. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, awesome. You remember what I told you? The build our community. We must help the youth. You know what I mean? So, yeah. whatever we gotta do, and a lot of us guys have non-profit organizations and stuff like that. Yeah. Anything we can do to help our kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. And help them push That's further. the future. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. I, I noticed like a lot of them, the, the kids in uh, yeah. like Hispanic, Mexican. Yeah, it doesn't uh, matter what race. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But like, uh, it's interesting to see the times have changed, yeah. and you got different nationalities yeah. all mixed together. Yeah. That's cool. Awesome. Love to see it. What was your name again, sorry? Gangster. Nice to meet you, brother. Harry. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. How are you doing? Harry, nice to meet you. Marcus. <clears throat> How's life in Compton? Good, good, good. Yeah? It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah? How long have you been there? Uh, 30 some years. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah. What'd you do for work? Uh, work, I uh, work in a, I worked in an aerospace company. Oh, nice, DC nice. Aerospace up in Torrance. Sweet. It seems like Compton's like a huge, it's, it's like a city within Los Angeles. Yes. Yeah? Of course. And like, have you seen things change over time? It's got yeah. safer and stuff? Yeah, big time safe. It's now and, safe. And uh, do you have kids and stuff? Yes, I have uh, five. You like you feel fine having them yeah, grow up here. up here. Yeah, they have opportunities and yes, stuff. Yes, they have opportunities. So it's, it's pretty much just like it any. Depends, it, you know, it all has to do with the parenting too. You know, right. but the kids have a future here. You know what I mean? Awesome. So everything's good. The real reason why I came to this park was not to go into a <laughs> into a school class. Is because of this Wilson Park. Uh, Kobe's wife actually donated this park. Um, there's a really cool LA Lakers. Uh, basketball court and you can see obviously we went inside there's classrooms there's another basketball court inside so Compton has seen a lot of uh, money being pumped in by the people who used to live here and and it's amazing to see so now we are cruising around the neighborhood you hear sirens and uh, there's a very funny uh, movie scene that was filmed right here yeah very famous neighborhood for films multiple of these houses have been in films but yeah I feel, I feel like I'm literally in a GTA scene right now we got planes flying over we got sirens but yeah it's cool they also are they selling stuff here yeah they're selling stuff nice I've said this multiple times but this is the hood and the hood in LA is uh, not what it used to be that's for sure it's quiet there's no there's no gangs around it feels safe we're gonna be going further in we're gonna be going to Watts and stuff, but we'll see. So we're heading into Compton now. It's slightly, uh, still, still not even. I wouldn't even say it feels rough. It's like you know, a few derelict buildings, but that's like everywhere in LA, to be honest. So uh, it's clean. It just feels a little bit more industrial. This is where we're in Compton right now. Yeah. And this, used, this spot right here used to be called the Eve After Dark. It used to be one of the hottest nightclubs in Compton. Wow. The Bloods used to go here. And if you look up on that building board right there, you will see Lonzo name still there. And this is where Dr. Dre got his start at. You know, wow. and this was called the Eve After Dark. And he had that one hit by Michelle Light, uh, Turn Off the Lights. And this is where he got his start when he was with the World Rat McCrow. Say Cliffs. Could I get one beef a burrito? Using my uh, Wise debit card, guys. If you need a debit card or a travel card, I use Wise. You can use it everywhere. Even in the even in the hood, you can use Wise. Hey, 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 hey. You don't How you doing? Know. Uh, Harry, nice to meet you. Mr. Cook. What's your name? Mr. Cook. Mr. Cook. You own this? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we just ordered. Are you from you from Compton? Uh, I am. Yeah. How's the how's I'm in the, 71. 71. So you've seen a lot of things change? A lot of change. It's it's now a lot safer than it used to be. Yes. Yeah. And uh, how's the is it like the quality of life in LA? Is it getting a little bit expensive or? Well, that's what always happen. You know, California's not the spot to be, but we stay here because of, of, of the weather. 
Oh, the, the weather? Community. And the community? And the community. Good community? Yeah. Nice. You don't want to be caught up in the same thing they was caught up in. You think it would be better. Right. Then still look for a better place, a better time. Well, would you say that for kids growing up in Compton now is more opportunities than there was before? Uh, I would say yes. I would say yes. Uh, uh, the kids now are not looking, not really looking for uh, things that we were looking for when we was growing up. All we wanted was a job, a nice place to stay. These kids now, they, they have more opportunities. It's very true, like uh, treat people how you want to be treated. 40 years, no no problems in Compton, so he's obviously done something right. It was nice to meet you. Where are you going to play that? So uh, YouTube, on YouTube. Probably one of the best burritos I've had in a long time. So. Shout out to Sir Cliff, very, very good spot. This house here, this is Kendrick's, well, his childhood house where wow. he grew up here. Insane. Just like every street we go to, it's like a different rapper. Kendrick Lamar, Roddy Rich, Tupac, Ice, amazing. When you were in prison, was it also uh, split up into gangs yes. within the prison? You say prison is like a, a, a small minimum society within itself. It has yeah. its own hospital, own store, uh, own uh, restaurant, uh, own laundry, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're in the Compton Custom Tees. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How are you doing? Harry, nice to meet you. Funny you. Nice shot. Hey man, sorry I had a customer I was talking to. Hi, how you doing? Hi, alright. Oh, okay. we got some Compton teas. Yeah, you know, Compton ain't all that bad. Everybody think it is because we got a lot of different, you know, nationalities here yeah. now. Because I be driving around all over. You know, I'm retired military. I grew up in Compton and went yeah. to Dominguez High School. Nice. And you know, with Greg Towns and the football player. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah I just, and so you grew up here? Yeah, I grew up here right mm -hmm. off on um, Alondra and Mail, right by Roosevelt. Nice. Uh, well, Mil they call it Roosevelt Middle School now. It used to be Roosevelt Junior High when I came. Nice. Up. Have you seen a lot? Of, you've seen a lot of interesting things then over yes. your time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> shooting, stabbing, gang banging back in the day <laughs> with Crips and Pyrus. Wow. Then. And then we had the Mexican gangs called CVS um, at Largo 70s. Now things are better? They yeah, you know, yeah, a little better because most of the gangs were pretty died off. And the uh, young ones that I knew that were smart, they went on ahead and took their money with their kids and family. Some of them moved to Reno Valley. Oh, they've um, moved out of LA. And, um, and, no, and, you know, put money into their lives where they start, some of them start their own business and they doing well. Oh, they turn legit like, mm -hmm. in, oh sweet, nice. Yes, they, they feel a little bit of a community here. Yeah. Yep, and they, um, and they like the diversity here because, you know, all the different food that we have here, you know, we got the uh, Chinese yeah. restaurant, <laughs> we got the teriyaki, <laughs> the barbecue, the taco, bro. Nice, nice, you nice. Can, and you got the fried chicken, can't beat that out. Of course, <laughs> that's the great thing about these uh, multicultural cities. You can yeah. get any food you want, mm -hmm. it's the best. So do you have any of this, in, but this style? This no, style of hat? No, no, not right now. The old English style with this curvature. Or do you have any other hats like this? How's business? It's pretty good, you know. Is this your show? It's, it's, no, I've been working here for a year, but you okay. know, we have our slow days when the weather is like this. You know? Are people gonna think I'm, part, I'm from Compton then? Yeah. Do yeah, I look like I'm from hey, Compton? We had, we, hey, we had um, a family of Caucasians that went to Dominguez that graduated from Compton. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got a lot okay. Of stars that come so from I can Compton. represent. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. All right. Yeah, a lot of. I'll stars. take. How much is this one? 33. Okay, uh -huh. let's take it. All right. Nice. I'll Absolutely. support. That is nice. Thank Gotta you. support the local businesses. Yes, appreciate you. Get you a bag here. Would you want to pay by cash or card? Uh, card. Card. Okay. Are you are you born and raised here? Are you living here? Yes, I went to elementary, junior high, high oh, school, no and way. college. Wow. Absolutely. I'm a product of the <laughs> Compton Unified School District and then became a teacher for 23 years. Oh, and wow. I was like, ooh, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just wear it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're straight out of Compton right now. <laughs> I heard that, yeah. <laughs> I'm good. There we go. Okay, absolutely. 
Absolutely. All right. Well, wonderful. Let me get that in here. You get your floor. And, and safety, you've seen, so when you grew it's up, better. it was... It's better. Oh, it was way it better than since I was younger. Really? Woo. Yes. You have some crazy stories? Oh, yeah, because I did you seen people... deliver pizza for oh, Domino's wow. Pizza during that time frame. <laughs> and yes, I was so happy they gave me a nickname. They called me the DP girl. That's for Domino's Pizza. And so, just say D DP. And then that way we know, because I mean, they come up out oh, of the think garages. You're... They had, you know, sheets on... <laughs> Oh my there, god. It was it was a battleground. <laughs> it was no joke. So I was like, "Oh lord Jesus." What about Watts now? Is Watts a little bit dangerous or is it similar? Um, it's it's um it changed a lot also. It's still. It's it's still the, um it's all about respect over yes, that way. That's what it is. But at the same token because my father used to live over there and um the neighborhood used to be all black when I was coming up. But now it's mixed. You got a lot of Hispanics over there now. Oh, you know, okay. mixed with the blacks. So, so when you walk down the street, nobody you know don't even you know really pay attention to you. Ah, you know? uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because so there's so many different nationalities. It's yeah. not just dominated by yeah. one. Right. Oh, gotcha. And that's why we have the Hub City T-shirts in here. We do have one Watts T-shirt because you know the tour goes to Watts after they uh -huh. come here, and that's the you know like we're sister brother yeah. cities and so it's the same nice nice to meet you what was your name again they call me go to work go to work <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or dp Nisha. oh yeah absolutely <laughs> nice to meet you. yeah john spencer john spencer nice right. to meet you guys nice. okay absolutely. have a good day you too wow all right super friendly people i'm now repping i'm now one of the boys so mooney let me ask you a question am i am i ready to join Bloods or Crips now? No. <laughs> no. Never? <laughs> Never. I wouldn't, adv I wouldn't advise that for anyone. Oh, really? Yes. I wouldn't advise that All for right. anyone. I um, agree. I agree. I'm only joking. It's about... Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> you got the Compton hat on. <laughs> See where we at? These are Bloods. You go down there to that light, all the way down. And you back in blood neighborhood. We only have three blocks. Oh, okay. Three blocks this way on Santa Fe. Three blocks that way. So you had a lot of a lot of fights. Square. No question. <laughs> we fight, war all the time with the bloods. They wanted this neighborhood. I was surprised at how safe I felt in Compton, but everyone told me I needed to visit Watts to see the true gang culture. Going around with Mooney, I learned a lot, and he showed me all of the places where the big rappers are from, Dr. Dre, Tupac, Kendrick Lamar, Ice Cube, and many others. It's a nice day in Watts. Everything seems fine so far. We're gonna walk into the, the main high street. We just came off the train. It's like each individual uh, neighborhood in LA is almost like its own individual city, because LA is so big. So, it's gonna take a while to explore, but uh, I think, um, People here are a little bit reluctant to speak to me because I fit the exact criteria of a play police officer. <laughs> so, <laughs> people don't want to speak to me because they think I'm I'm a cop. And I mean, I can't really prove that I'm not, so it's gonna be tough. So these are the famous Watts Towers. These are 17 interconnected towers built by Simon Rodia, an immigrant construction worker and uh, they are something I've never seen in my life. They are truly unique. He built them all in his own backyard and out of just like random bits of material, bits and pieces. And then they were brought here as the monument for what's and they're actually in a lot of uh, rappers' music videos. I'll put some of them. Music videos, this is Simon Rodia. I'll put the music videos on screen so you guys can see which ones they're in. But yeah, I don't think we can go in. But uh, it's pretty amazing. All right, this whole ring here has a, the history of Watts and it's absolutely fascinating. I'm not a history man, but it starts with European settlers. Then we got Mexican immigrants coming. Um, Mexico receives its uh, independence from Spain and California is, is still within Mexico at that point. And then we've got uh, We've got the gold rush, where lots of immigrants come to California in search of the gold. All the way up to Japanese immigrants, Mexican immigrants, World War II. It keeps going all the way around. 
I'll skip a couple of hundred years <laughs> for your guys' retention. And then this is when the 1990s and 80s when Watts is most prevalent and it just tells you the modern history of Watts. Very fascinating. Here is this amazing mural. If I'm not mistaken, it's the history of America slash Watts. Starting black and white, we've got the Muppets. I'm gonna put on screen what these are because I'm not exactly sure. This mural depicts many cultural and historical symbols that showcase a global multicultural narrative of resilience, integrity, and dignity. Anyway, besides the beautiful mural, as you can see, Watts is like, it's not the prettiest of places I've ever been. In fact, I would go to say it's a bit of a shithole, this area, but then we've got beautiful murals. So they've also done a lot of stuff to try and regenerate the area. And uh, I think they're also, the, the government or also, or the council are also putting a lot of effort into rebuilding some of the projects, the community housing, as well as uh, the schools here. So uh, things are looking on the rise for Watts. This road doesn't look too scary. Honestly, there's a few um, shady characters, but uh, I feel like, honestly, I've been to worse places. I have been to worse places. Maybe I'm very naive, but I, I just feel like uh, unless I'm an idiot, it, nothing's gonna happen to me here. There is obviously a chance of um, just like, unfortunately meeting the wrong person at the wrong time, but it's just so unlikely. I mean like, these places are just not that busy. Maybe in like the 80s, the 70s, you would see people do, you know, dealing on the streets. These streets would probably be not safe to walk on, but you know, the 21st century, Los Angeles is a lot better. You can see uh, this is, I think this is some of the projects, the community housing. I can see some like, some activity within that area. Um, so probably don't want to be wandering around these houses, but on the main road is fine. This looks like a community center, or it says like a, the Watts Coffee House, but it looks like some kind of community center, but yeah, like uh, seems just a little bit like old and dilapidated. Most of Watts is still like blocks. So it's not really like, Maybe I'm in the wrong area, but it's not really like too busy in terms of like a high street. It's all very spread out. Probably would be better to have a car. Also, something really interesting about America compared to UK is like, even in the less economically developed areas, like what you still see the nicest cars. Even in when you're in Skid Row, when you're in any area that everyone always has nice cars you're seeing Range Rovers you're seeing Dodge really nice cars in the UK you don't really get that but I guess people in America love their cars consumerism in America is unbelievable it's I've never seen anywhere like it where people just I feel like always just want to keep up with the Joneses they're getting the next Apple iPhone they're getting the next uh, car model that's out and they're then they're just happy to spend on their credit card and get into debt and my parents brought me up to just not even consider ever getting into debt. Um, but in America, I feel like, obviously this is generalization, there's a lot of people who don't do this, but I feel like it's very acceptable to just get into credit card debt. And maybe this is the cause of some of the issues in America. Obviously, there's a lot of economic prosperity in America also, but maybe credit card debt is a problem. And who's to blame for that? I'm not sure, maybe some people should uh, should stop trying to get the newest things. Obviously there's other reasons, but... What's also surprised me at how gentrified and stable it is nowadays. So I decided to push my luck and try to visit Skid through. Row, which is the largest no population of homeless day. people in the US, estimated at over 4,400. So, I'm not even in Skid Row, I'm nowhere near Skid Row, we're just in downtown walking, walking back. And uh, I will tell you guys, I'm just being deadly honest, I am so nervous to go into Skid Row just because everyone, so many YouTubers have told me you've got to take three, you've got to take four security. So I'm thinking, I go on a line bike. The reason it started is because they built a railroad across the whole country that ended right in the center of Skid Row. So naturally, many people were coming to LA in search of a better life and they would end up in Skid Row for a very short amount of time. And a lot of them, unfortunately, ended up having no job and therefore became homeless. There's tents everywhere. I'm not over exaggerating. This is crazy. I cannot believe this. 
this is America. This is not the America that I that I grew up seeing on the movies. I tell I'm being deadly serious when I say this. I felt safer in Kabul, Afghanistan than I do in downtown LA right now. What would the founding fathers of America think about present day Los Angeles? What would the people who fought in the war think of the present day? I don't know. That was a rhetorical question. You guys can't actually answer that. You're probably wondering, Harry, what are you gonna do when a crackhead comes up to you with a knife? Well, ready. I'm ready to go. From what I've gathered, it seems like a, a couple of bad apples uh, have ruined the ruined the situation for the people. There are a lot of good homeless people who have just been, you know, had bad luck in life. You can blame who you want, but at least you don't know and, and you don't know people's story, to be honest. Um, but it also seems like there are a few people there who have no intention of getting help and they just want to abuse the system and then they make it, they give everyone else a bad name. That's what I think is happening. I'm not too sure what this is. This could be the barrier that keeps them in. I don't know, I don't know what this is. I, I don't think we're in Skid Row yet. I think it's the next block over, but this could be, this could well be like the, some kind of barrier to stop people from, from staying here. It certainly looks like they're trying to keep people off this area, which is crazy. Yeah, that must be what it is. So we're, we're arriving. Yeah, we're definitely arriving. There's people on Definitely on Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cross the road because it's just fucking sketchy. There's like a fight going on on the other side of the road, so I'm just gonna avoid that. It's a shame I can't film any of this. Looks like we took a wrong turn. It's just like, everyone's on You can't walk on the pavement. The only thing we should be careful about is the camera. Like, us walking down here is fine. Raymond, where are you from? Uh, my family is from Ireland. Ireland? Oh, no, right. Nice, I'm from the UK. Is it safe for someone like me walking around here? Once you, once you get past, well, that's town and six. That's not a good street. Okay. And down in Gladys is not a good street. Okay, it gets pretty bad after dark? Yeah. All right. Is there any solution to this problem? All right, guys, we are back in Skid Row, back in the car, because to be honest, shit's too scary for me. We're gonna be uh, rolling around in the car for a little bit, maybe seeing if we can speak to some people. I'm also with D. he's also like a professional chef, so I'll put his links in the description below. He's like really good food, so. But for now, we're, we're rolling around. So tell me a little bit more about the situation right now. I've heard like they're trying to get people off the streets for the Olympics, is that true? So yeah, they usually, when there's something happening in the city, they do clean this up. Like, right. I seen this clean. Like one of the, this right here is like one of the main concentration areas here. We're about to drive through like, what is like, where is like all the harmless stuff. Like because of mm -hmm. the main shelters and food, uh, areas that they get uh, fed by the people around here. This is why they're like in this. This is the why this is the majority concentration of homeless people. Okay. And you said it's like this has been t over twenty years. It's been like this. Yes. Wow. And in terms of say, I think this started like early two thousand when they were giving money to uh, homeless people in other states. They will give you a bus ticket to come here because they will. Be struggling with the weather. A lot of homeless people in other states oh, okay. will die because of the snow. Wow! So they're just is, chilling over there. Yep. Like I said, yeah, we're like about to be people. in. No, we're gonna see more people. Really? Yes. What would you guys say to the to the government if if like they were listening? If you could if you could say something to get. What What do you guys need? Fuck y'all and to unfuck y'all. Do something. Crooks. Mm. Do something that actually yeah. changes I would just something. Say, uh, that, Right. Increase the peace in war, you know, just make our, our allies, like, you know, happy and, uh, you know, and stop making us be safe, be safe. defeating. Take care, thank yep. you. Because if you get on us, serious, you know, on us. now here's just you know like war though within ourselves, and then we have yep. to deal with We're that too. Feeding on us. 
Does it get pretty? It gets pretty dangerous at night here. Oh, everywhere is dangerous, but you know, technically. This is our five people down here a week. No, this is five people a, lot a week. Of people put people right here after they get out of jail, though. It's Skid Row every week. We had a lot of friends pass away too, right here. You had friends pass away. Yeah, right in front of my apartment building. From uh, overdosing? Nah, from getting shot. Getting shot? Yeah. People have guns around here. No, not everybody. <laughs> Just. What, what can what can you guys like what can people do to help apart from money like what do you need do you need housing have you yeah, have you tried okay. using the housing do you get offered housing housing I need like and a, a job a loan. you need a job <laughs> a real job not just don't throw no shit at me yeah, I need a loan right for real. like a a long term job yeah. alright guys I appreciate your time thank you so much I wish I wish the best for you guys Wow, this is insane. I cannot believe this. It's just like... You obviously not think, you see that up there? A couple the of blocks. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. That was clean. That will be like 20 tents there. What, at night? Yes. Oh, and so no, and during the day, look, there's uh, no here. Yeah. But this thing, a lot of cleaning lately. And they uh, make it wet, so they have to leave. They make it wet? Yes. What, they, they, they just spray water? So, yes. If there's some businesses here, they have oh. uh, a sprayer at night. Oh! I will show you that tonight as well. That's why wow. I wanted you to come at night as well. Yeah, we're gonna come back at yeah. night. But it's um, cool that you come now, so now we can, you know. Yeah. You get more familiar and like What's, you understand. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's gonna be safe. Wow. You're gonna see this on the movie. What is that? A courtyard? Yes. Is that? A, is this like That's a charity a thing? Midnight mission. What? What's the solution here? Is there a solution? I mean. I feel like this problem is so big that the solution is not one solution, you know? First of all, there is people like that. Look, she's breaking her cell phone in the no middle way. of the street. Why? Because mental illnesses. A lot of these people, they might not be just here because of the drugs. Mm. And I feel like part of the solution should be that. Trying to divide who's choosing to be outside because they want to get high and who's outside because they can't deal with their mental illnesses. It's mm -hmm. like mental health. This guy's fucked. Do you see the situation getting better or worse? I mean, it, I mean, we're here every day. So, I mean, like, there's some days where it seems like, yeah, like, it's getting better. And then there's some days it looks like it doesn't. But I have to do it. No, it's all right. How long are you going to be out here? Uh, we leave on Sunday. Making this video made me feel really bad. I saw many people struggling with no hope and there was no real way to help them. Skid Row exists because the US government system promotes opportunities for people to succeed or fail on their own. But these people look like they've been thrown out to waste and the numbers are only increasing. It's a reminder to myself to be so grateful that I was given the opportunities and had the right environment to not make bad decisions. I'm going to put a charity down below that I tried to work with but they didn't want to work with me because apparently YouTubers have a bad reputation in Skid Row. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.